Got a quick video for you on the JetBeam Mini 1. This was sent in via JetBeam a while ago, but I was waiting for the plastic version to come out. I think it's the SE, but that hasn't turned up. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do a video on this just to give you an idea. And possibly if that does turn up, I'll do a separate video on that. Only included items are the split ring and user guide, which I showed you there. Size wise, this is pretty similar to the Tiki but this is obviously stainless steel, so there is a bit more weight and you do notice it compared to the plastic lighter ones that are out there. One thing that I do like on the jet beam is we're now with the type C charging port. Very nice machining on this and it has to be really with stainless steel. You have to have that uh, good quality finishing. XPG3 LED and they've got that optical lens. So we're expecting a fairly wide beam off of this torch. On the bottom you'll see you've got that cutout area so you can attach that split ring if you want to. I've pretty much been using this mostly as a pocket torch though. Quick side by side with the Tiki. Very little difference in size though we do have the difference with the port, the micro USB on the Tiki. Quick look at the UI now, very simple with this one. It's a single press on and off with a mode memory for the last setting. When it's on just push and hold to cycle through the four power levels. To get to the turbo, when it's off, just hold in the side switch and that will stay on for 30 seconds. It does drop down in power output though, and I'll show you that a bit later on with the beam shots. With the auxiliary LEDs, there's quite a few modes with this. So what I've done is put it up on screen for you, the sequence that they go through. Easy to get to with a double press and then just hold that in to cycle through the modes. Some of these modes could be a bit gimmicky, but some of them could potentially be quite useful. For example, the flashing one, if you're walking on a road at night, something like that. We've also got the UV LED triple press to get to that and a single press to turn off. For the lockout, that's a bit strange on this torch because you have to go into the UV mode and then push in the switch for around about eight seconds. And then to unlock that, you have to push and hold it again for four seconds. So it's a bit strange. On the other hand, it is good that you do have a full lockout and that's something which is missing off the Tiki. Low battery indicator, that glows red, but you also notice it will drop down the levels and the charging time just over an hour. It was pretty much on spec with the battery capacity. As far as the switch goes, it's very slightly smaller than the Tiki. The pressure on them is about the same. There's very little difference that I could tell. Um, it's just less likely to activate, plus you've got that full lockout mode. So we move on to the beam shots now, starting off with the Unicorn. That's quite a warm LED on that. Moving up to the Jet Beamer at 200 lumens in the high output mode. I'll take it up to the turbo and you'll notice after about four seconds, it starts to drop down in the output and it will take you down to the high mode. So you only have a very short burst with the Jet Beam at the turbo. I show you the Tiki now at 300 lumens and that is slightly more focused beam in the middle. There's a bit more of a tint shift onto the Phoenix now and that also has quite a spready, floody beam pattern compared to the Tiki. Not sure that the difference in output is going to be that relevant for most people, but you just have a bit more focus on the night core, whereas the other ones that I've looked at, they tend to be a bit more spread out. Do a few more beam shots now and I'll give you a few thoughts at the end of the video.
couple of things that I'm not that keen about. The first is that the turbo does drop quite quickly, so it's only really useful for a quick burst of light. I wouldn't find that a big problem myself because I typically not using a torch like this at a high output, but it is worth mentioning. Good finishing on this, and I do like the Type-C charging port, so with that in mind, I think it is probably better overall than the Tiki. There's no sign of PWM or anything like that. You can also find this at a pretty good price as well. Have a look around online. I'll put the links below. It's been a while since I did a torch video, but I have more stuff coming in soon. So do stick around and thanks for watching.